In this Tabs Unit Creator battle, we have yet another zombie wave battle, but this time they're going to be trying to fight the Japanese. Now, every single new wave we do, the zombies are going to get faster, they're going to get stronger, and they're going to have more health. So let's see how many rounds it's going to take for these zombies to finally overwhelm the Japanese defenses. And speaking of the Japanese defenses, what you can see here is we have the Japanese lunge mine, who, yes, that is right, they're going to throw themselves in there and then blow up, and it's going to take out absolutely loads of the zombies. And they're going to be followed up directly behind by the Banzai Charge, which as you can see, have, have taken their shot and they are getting ready to charge in. Oh, here we go. The zombies are getting a taste of their own medicine. And the rest of the Japanese forces consist of largely riflemen over here, as you can see all the way along. We've also got a bazooka guy right here chilling with a brilliant overwatch position. We've also got some grenade throwers, as you can see that guy just lobbed a grenade. And we've also got an artilleryman who should currently be calling in some artillery. I think it already hit and that's probably why that guy's gone absolutely flying but these zombies are not going to win until they finally make their way all the way back to the back of the map and manage to kill this one officer unit over here all right now that that is out of the way let wave one begin we got 100 level one zombies these are the basics and something tells me they're going to be getting lunge mine. These guys probably too. Those lunge mines are OP, man. They just give the zombies a taste of their own medicine. But very quickly, remember, this is level 1 zombies. Very quickly, these zombies are going to have like 10 times the health, 10 times the speed. They're going to become OP. But as for wave 1, as you can see, it's been an absolute disaster. They've been absolutely annihilated. I think it's going to be a few rounds until those zombies actually breach the defenses. Okay, wave 2, level 2 zombies. Let's see how well these guys can do. Let's see, the lunge mines are gonna get them, aren't they? The lunge mines. Oh my god, that lunge mine was absolute carnage. I don't believe it. Now, these guys are gonna have 50% more health, 50% more speed, and 50% more damage. So, every single round, they are gonna start to get thicker and faster. As you can see, even in wave two, so many more survived until the MVP rocket Chad dude over here just absolutely cleaned house. And the artillery is probably gonna clean up the job or the grenade throwers or every other piece of defense they have yep the artillery got them the artillery works really really well but let's move on to wave three okay this is level three zombies and as you can see they are already getting thicker they're already getting faster you can tell compared to wave one look how much more quick they are and also look how many more of them are surviving i mean that is a pretty big old cluster i mean half of them are already dead but if you imagine how many more waves we've got to do here they are going to get stupidly fast and very very scary very, very quickly still oh the first one almost made it up to the defenses so close look how far they came i mean this guy right here has had an absolute stinker but i don't think it's long until they breach the defenses i think a few more waves and they're gonna be there okay wave four let's see this from there oh oh my god i was gonna say let's see this from their perspective look at this guy right here what an absolute muppet okay watch this the lunge mines are going to be crazy effective here Oh my god. Do you want to know why the lunge mines are going to be so epic? Because these guys are so fast. They all jump on the body straight away. Those lunge mines are absolutely crazy now. Look how much these guys are sponging and some of them are still moving. I mean, just look at the abuse these guys are getting. Wave 4 is absolute carnage. But, and you can see, Wave 4, even after all that punishment, they still almost made it in. That was absolutely crazy. In Wave 4, they got absolutely punished by those lunge mines. What's happening there is the lunge mines go in, but because the zombies are so much faster now, it means all the zombies pile onto the lunge mine in time. So when they do blow up, they've all got Marty Dom. So when they do blow up, it means that it takes out like all of them. Okay, we're on to wave five zombies and look at this pace. They've got absolute legs on them now. Okay, look what I'm what look what I was talking about, those lunge mines. Just watch that. Look at this guy. Watch the lunge mines go off. Watch the lunge mines go off. Okay, is another one going? Oh, they weren't as effective that time. Okay, that one was effective. Look at the corpses. They're everywhere. But watch this. The bazooka, the artillery, the compounding uh, explosive damage in there is absolutely crazy. But would you look? Wave 5 and the zombies are already starting to breach the defenses. The artillery better start doing some work right here. Okay, there we go. I think he got a lot of them. Oh my god. I can't believe how far they've got. This is only wave 5. That is only wave 5. Look how far they got. That's actually a little a bit concerning. Okay, wave six. Here we go. I'm not gonna lie. Things are not looking too good for the Japanese defenses right here. Even with all of these explosive damage. Look at that. I mean, I can't get enough of that. It's literally like Marty Dom to the extreme. Okay, that was a bad bazooka right there. Okay, this is only wave six. 
Do you know how many waves we've got to do here? We have so many waves to go through. We're supposed to have 15 waves of this. I don't know how long they're going to survive for. Oh, actually, interestingly, they somehow did better in wave 5 than they did in wave 6. I'm, I don't know how that's happened, but somehow that has happened. Okay, I don't know, actually. I think it's because they spread a little bit better. You can see last time they just went straight down here, and they got worryingly close. Okay, who's left? Who's left? And there we go. Wave 6. They managed to cling onto life in wave 6. But look how quickly things are ramping up. It was, it was only a couple rounds ago they hadn't even made it into here. Now literally pretty much all of them are making into here. There's barely any of them even die on these lunge mines. You've also got to respect this Japanese lunge mine back here. Look how far back he is. He's passed all the corpses. He just ran into the middle of the kill box and just did his duty. Okay, this is wave seven and already, oh my god, look how quickly they get in. Oh, hold on, I think we're about to get some serious lunge mine action here. Oh my god! <laughs> Look at that! The thing is, none of them even dead. None of them are even dead, but that was still just absolutely brutal. I want to see the rocket launcher now. I want to see the rocket. We got the artillery. Boys, it's going crazy. And no, the rocket launcher hit the palm tree. Mate, you've embarrassed your country. You've embarrassed your nation. And you've also possibly sacrificed all your friends. Although this guy having a real bad day. Is he dabbing? Is he dabbing on his way down? Oh, he needs to die. Boys, get him out. Okay, good. He's gone, he's gone. But, oh my god, wave 7. These are level 7 zombies. Boys, they are getting in. They are getting in. Let's look. The officer, the officer they have to get to is only here. Oh my god, it's like World War Z, or if you're American, World War Z. Look how close they are. Oh my god, this is absolute carnage. Oh my god, this is literally a last stand. I can't believe it. It's an actual last stand. <gasps> They survived. Look at the corpses on the bridge. Look at them. I was sure that was about to be it, but somehow they managed to hold on to it. And it's because these zombies here have decided they're pirates. They've got drunk and they're trying to sail a boat. Lads, I don't reckon this one's seaworthy. It's just a suspicion of mine. And look, just to add the insult, the officer has actually made his way all the way out and he's going to try and put down these final few zombies. Oh, yes, that's what I like to see. Get your hands dirty, mate. GG, my guy. Okay, I'm not going to lie. After wave 7 my heart is pumping a little bit because I've got to make a lengthy video out of this and this might be a 3 minute video at this rate. Okay, this is level 8 wave 8 zombies. Look, it is literally starting to look like something out of a horror movie the pace that these guys move at I'm going to have to start using some more slow-mo Okay, come on, another big lunge mine. I just want a big lunge mine! <laughs> yes! Oh my god, this guy's literally getting blown back onto mainland Japan. See you later, mate And the bazooka went in as well Come on, let's get the trifecta. Oh my god the artillery just team killed. The artillery just team killed. And they're flooding in. Oh my god, boys. This might be the final wave unless they can pull something magical out the hat here. Oh, that artillery was a little bit clutch. But we're going to need another one of those. We're going to need another artillery like that pretty fast. Otherwise, this is going to be game over. Oh, I'll tell you what. This little, like, this little, like, I guess you could... I mean, let's be honest. It's a bit of a stream or, like, I don't know. You Maybe you'd call it a river. But I'm going to call it a moat. This is a moat with a nice little drawbridge. That's what we're going to call it here, right here. It actually does bits. Look how many corpses are down here. Literally a pile of corpses fell into the moat. And again, look how close they're getting. Look again, another one. And another one. They all fall into the moat and these guys can just kind of pick... Oh, okay, no. Where is it? Where is he? He's here. He's here. He's here. Okay, come on, boys. Come on, boys. Oh, it looks like they're gonna survive level 8 as well. Wave 8. Oh, no. Here they are. The final zombies are once again trying to sail the ship. Lads, I've told you before and I'll tell you again. This boat is not seaworthy. Stop trying. Oh, maybe they're just trying to gamble. Okay, it is wave 9. We got some level 9 zombies right here again. Okay, we just got us. We got to capture the lunge mine in slow motion. Come on. Come on, make my day. Big lunge mine. Okay, it was okay. It was an okay lunge mine. I'll take it. I'll take it. I just like seeing corpse go flying. Oh, he's not even dead. Look at him. He's not even dead. Okay, on wave nine, they are literally flooding in. And the problem is, is they're kind of not coming in at the same time. When they all go in at the same time, they all take explosive damage at the same time. But if you look at this, they're kind of dribbling in, which means the ones who are just arriving now are probably all on full health. This is level nine. This is wave nine. I reckon it's going to be the last one, boys. <gasps> Unless we get a miracle, it's all over. Oh my god, the moat is OP. Literally, the moat with drawbridge is OP. Look at this. Okay, no. The officer. The officer. Boys, it's all over. Is it gonna be all over? Oh my god, I think it's all over. I think it's all over, boys. The officer. It's all over. There's not a chance it's all over, okay? The Japanese managed to survive for nine waves, which I'm not gonna lie. 
It was a pretty good effort right there. I thought they were going to lose it at like wave six. But if you know me and you know my channel, I have made 15 waves worth of zombies and I'm not going to put them to waste. I'm going to go straight to the level 15 zombie and see what they can do. As you can see, the musket shots coming in right there have done nothing. And look at the speed on these lads. Oh my god, I just want to see these level 15 zombies. How quickly are these level 15 zombies going to clean up the enemy right here? Oh my god, everyone is dying. And let's look. Pretty much none of them are dead. Oh my god, this one guy down the back late to the party. As you can see, they've even got a new uniform. And oh my god, boys. Oh my god. Can you imagine? There was no way. The moat hasn't even worked. They've literally just they've used the bodies to get over the moat. Look at this. <laughs> Wave 15 zombies. R.O.P. Look at that. Absolute carnage. I'm not going to lie, I would absolutely love to be one of these four lucky lads up here on the top of the ship because these guys can't seem to figure out how to get up to them. That was the level 15 zombies and look how few of them are dead. Literally, there's like, there's no corpses here. The only corpses down here, how did they even get back here? I don't even know how the Japanese got back here. Pretty much none of these zombies actually died. They just absolutely cleaned their way through that. They didn't even have to use the bridge. I mean, look how many bodies are in here. I'm not gonna lie, the moat strat was pretty OP. But it doesn't matter when they're literally a, like, World War Z tide of zombies literally makes a new bridge as it's going over the water. That was quite fun. Now, folks, this is not the first time I've done a zombie battle like this, so if you want to see a Another zombie battle like this will be a card in the top right corner of the screen. Oh my god, my screen's just gone entirely white with explosions. If you want to see another zombie battle like this, there'll be a card in the top right corner of the screen, which you can go back to and watch my first zombie wave assault that I did. And if you haven't already subscribed and you want to see more of whatever is currently happening on my screen right here, make sure you subscribe. Only a small percentage of people who actually watch my Tabs Unit Creator battles are subscribed, so if that is you, do consider subscribing. But thank you very much for watching this absolute carnage. I will catch you again next time. Yeah.